Hello friends, in this video we will see the concept of problems on trains with respect to the time speed distance. Okay, so the main points we have to remember in solving the problems on trains are the first one is time taken by a time taken by a train to cross a pole okay or signal post or a standing man or a standing man is given by length of the train by speed of the train speed of the train okay so time taken by a train to cross a pole or a signal post or a standing man is equal the length of the train by speed of the train suppose a pole is there and here the train is there okay so whenever the first coach is crossed at the pole the train is actually not completely crossed the pole so when the last coach is crossed the pole then only actually the complete train is crossed at the pole okay so that's why we have to take the length of the train by speed of the train okay the total length of the train by speed of the train okay the second point we have to remember is time taken by a train to cross a bridge or tunnel or a train at rest a train at rest or a platform or a platform is given by length of the train plus length of the bridge length of the bridge or tunnel or platform okay by speed of train by speed of train okay so whenever a train is crossing a bridge tunnel or a train at rest or a platform so then the time to cross that one is length of the train plus length of the bridge or tunnel or a platform by the speed of the train okay so next one we have to remember is time taken time taken by a train by a train to cross moving object in opposite direction in opposite direction is given by L1 plus L2 by B1 plus B2 okay time taken by a train to cross a moving object in opposite direction is given by L1 plus L2 by B1 plus B2 where L1 is the length of the train length of the train and L2 is the length of the object moving in opposite direction length of the object and v1 is the speed of train v1 is the speed of train and v2 is the v2 is the speed of the object coming in opposite direction okay so the time taken by a train to cross a moving object in opposite direction when both objects are moving in opposite direction the relative speed is 
V1 plus V2. Okay, so the time is given by L1 plus L2 by V1 plus V2. L1 is the length of the train. L2 is the length of the object coming in the opposite direction. V1 is the speed of the train, and V2 is the speed of the object coming in the opposite direction. Okay, so here we are using V1 plus V2. Why? Because both objects are moving in the opposite direction. When both objects are moving in the opposite direction, so the relative speed is V1 plus V2. So if both objects are moving in the same direction, then train and the objects are moving in the same direction. Then the time taken to cross each other is given by L1 plus L2 by V1 minus V2. Okay, so V1 minus V2 because both are moving in the same direction. When both are moving in the same direction, the relative speed is V1 minus So where L1 is the length of the train and L2 is the length of the object coming in the same direction, and V1 minus V1 is the speed of the train and V2 is the speed of the object coming in the same direction. Okay. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Watch next video for example problems on trains based on this concept. Please subscribe to my channel.